guys, it's Gear Out 109, and we're back again with another figure review. This time it's a Marvel Select, and we're doing Doctor Doom. This is on Doctor Doom. Um, I picked up my local comic book shop, Flashback Comics. I mean, I saw it there. I was like, oh, I gotta get this, because I was looking forward to getting it anyway. Um, major reason is the throne, so if you ever get another Doctor, like a Legend Doom, you can just use that throne with him. On this side, move the camera up a little bit. We um have a good old picture of Doom's face. And then more of his, his cape. On the back, you can see you know, the throne better. And you can see Doom holding his one, his, he has one accessory. He has actually two. He has his gun in the, in the holster and his goblet. Or his, um, whatever that, whatever it's called. Um, little bio. That Dr. Doom, you pause it and read it whenever you like. And turn the camera sideways. He has Dr. Doom on the side. From Marvel Select. Diamond, Diamond Select Toys. Um, a comic book from Fantastic Four that I do own. I think I... Oh, it comes with the Marvel Legends. So if you get the Marvel Legends, you'll get that comic book. Um, Series 2 Doom. By the way, I think it is. Um, that you have Black Cat. Fine black cat with Spidey peeping in, and then Thanos with Lady Death, and then you have barcode and whatnot. And you have there's Diamond Select Toys, Marvel.com, and Comic Shop Locator Service. So if you need to find any comic book shop near you, you can just look up there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and just pull Doctor Doom, take a little break, pull Doctor Doom out the packaging, and we'll get started with the review. Alright guys, here's Dr. Doom out of the packaging. We'll go ahead and just get straight into the figure first. Um, I switched out his like electric shooting hand right here for his um little the, the hand that's holding the little goblin in his hand. Um, this, and that's one of his accessories was that hand. Another accessory is this pistol right here. If <laughs> See if I can fix my light to where y'all can see it. See it better. You see here. See a little bit of detailing in there. Mm, pistol ain't the best of pistols I've seen. But I guess it's okay. I mean, then you can just stick it right here in Dr. Doom's little holster. Um, you can, you can't remove it, this cape is removable, so if you go ahead and just pop off his head, just put his head back on there, show you that it's removable, and then we'll get into a little bit about this cape, you can see, you can see some, like, leather, like, ooh. War marks where it's been like looks like Dr. Doom's been wearing it for a long time. It's that latex type capey feel, so it is like flimsy and stuff, so you can move it around. You can see right here, there's like, um, see a little like bronzy gold pins with the rope going across there. It's real nice, and then how like the cape is, real nice detail into it right around here. Really nice, nice hood. He has a little, the little um sewn connection at the top, right there. The figure, he can for his articulation. Doom can look up pretty far. He can look up that much, but uh, he can't look down much at all. And you don't have no ab crunch at all. He does have a waist swivel. Arm goes up that much, single jointed elbow, and then a wrist swivel. Bring it back in down. You can see that his leg comes up that much. He has a jingle sword, uh, a single jointed knee, sorry. Then his ankle goes up and down, as so. And that's pretty much it with the articulation. You know how selects are. If you are in a select collector, they're pretty much just, just really just to sit on the shelf and uh, sit on the shelf for a good for looking, for looks. They just sculpt and all. It makes it really amazing. I think for selects that I like about them. 
and then put this cape back on. And one more spin around for Doom. So it does pretty nice. And then the hand I swapped out right here. So you got like a little bit of battle damage on his hand there. And then you can see all the like, little bit of details all into there. And same for the lines. The Doom face. Looks really nice. You see all the rivets and all the stuff in his face. No really no paint detailing into the face at all. Just besides the little rivets and all that stuff. Same thing with the arms. And all that stuff. You see all like the little detailing and then his chest where he has like that worn feel to it the D alright put him to the side now we'll take a take a good look at the throne right here the throne looks really nice it comes in separate pieces it's this bottom is separate with these two little like these are only like cardboard flags on the side that it comes there's one piece and then one piece is the throne itself and then this eagle that I seem to have a hard time keeping up there. It would fall like once in a while. But other than that you can see all the nice detailing into the chair and everything. All the nice detailing into the chair. Um see like the little gold little buttons I guess. And it again with that. The wood the wood looks really nice. And then the red carpet at the bottom with the gold, with little nice little swirl designs in it, and then like the stone for the castle floors that is thrown to be in for La Veria. All right, push that back, and then well, guys, that's pretty much the end of the review. So. Yeah, as always, if you like, drop a like for me. Share with your friends. Um, I do have a, face a Facebook page for for my YouTube channel, so you can always check that out. And just go into the um, just go to my um YouTube main page, and you'll find my link there. And then, so yeah, guys, it's like I said. I already told you, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. So, I guess I will catch y'all. Guys, later. Peace. Foot dive. <laughs>